Spitwaz, did you know that browsing online using incognito mode doesn't actually protect your privacy? That's right. Without added security, you might as well be giving away on a silver platter all your private data to hackers, advertisers, your internet service provider, and uh, dare I say, other prying eyes. That's why we use IP Vanish. It's a VPN, and it makes it easy to stay truly private and secure on the internet. Helps you safely browse the internet by encrypting not 50%, not 80%, not 92%, 100% of your data. That means your private details, passwords, communications, browsing history. It's all shielded from falling into the wrong hands. Even your physical location will be hidden, makes you invisible online. It's really quite simple. And you can take back your privacy today with a brand that is rated 4.6 out of 5 on Trustpilot. So go to ipvanish.com slash ballers. Use the promotional code BALLERS and claim your 70% savings. That's I-P-V-A-N-I-S-H dot com slash BALLERS. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Skin of a rink a dink a a dink a doo. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. I love you. I liked it a lot. <laughs> Not a complete yeah. original. But no, that was great. That's how innovation works. The, the Mike. best, the best artists are, are thieves. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to play that card, and you guys called me a, a plagiarist. Please well, no, your, you, you, please keep it down. You're confusing <laughs> plagiarism <laughs> with inspiration. Welcome into yeah. the spitballers. Mine goes ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Mike Wright, Jason Moore, Andy Holloway, Al Borland here, Judge Giamatti in the house, I think. I think he's here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> welcome into this. Yeah. <laughs> welcome into the Spitballers, episode 192. Would you rather? That's a great question. And uh, we are beginning. The I don't know if we've ever done two two drafts in a row where it's a part one and a part two. I'm going to say we haven't. We've yeah, done enough. We've we done go. enough shows where I've forgotten all we of them. We have. Oh, man. I, we was have. I was wrong real quick. We have, but we did not know at the time. I believe we it was we either plan it. Yeah, it was, and it might have been also music related. It that was, makes sense. I think it was uh, television theme songs. Oh, okay. Well, or or sitcoms. I can't recall, but we've done it. Catch before. this. Catch this. We're gonna do movie themes. Way different today. <laughs> but we were getting into the lists and starting to think about this draft. And uh, well, there's a lot. It's not fair. And it's to emotional. To only draft yes. 12. Because if you're drafting the 12 best, your 12 favorite, let's not call them best, your right. 12 favorite, you know, movie m- themes, movie themes, soundtrack scores, what, what have you, then what you're really doing is insulting about mm-hmm. 50 mm-hmm. to 60 other incredible movie themes. So that's what we're doing today. You can find us, spitballerspod.com, support the show. If you do that, if you become an official Spitwad supporter, you get to contribute all of your ideas, and we will take them. We'll be inspired by them. We won't thieve them. No, no, no. I also, I read. <laughs> As they say. I read all the names of every Patreon supporter uh, every morning. I wake up, I just read through the names. And Do I just, you? Yeah, you I, bless just, I just think about you. Um, it's usually toilet time, and I just read the names. <laughs> and so thank you for your support. So somebody's name's getting read when. I mean, oh, someone. When the plop yeah. happens. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Uh, let's get it going. Would you rather? AP Scott from Patreon says, would you rather sit next to someone on a plane who cannot control their extremely potent gas (laughs) or someone that has to use their barf bag? Oh, man. Well, this is, um, I mean, extremely potent. This isn't just potent gas. I this also, is extremely potent. I also think the the issue here is usually when someone uses their barf bag, that's that's more of like a one and done versus a if this is a three hour flight. Right. You're not just you're not just barfing for three hours like that. You you're, you didn't get on the plane if you've got the flu. This so do is, you want the worst smell for a short time or a pretty bad smell for a long time? Well, it's not just the smell, right? You're yeah. talking sound. Yep. Smell visual. You, mm-hmm. There's no visual on a fart. I hope. Um, that's, that's called a problem. Yeah, that's um, totally different. 
Uh, are you a sympathetic puker? I am a sympathetic puker. I'm pretty... And, and that's the problem. That's why I can't go with that one. I am pretty solid. Uh, I do have a story related to this for the, oh boy. the barf bag and not the proudest moment of my life. Oh, no. Was this you? No, it was not me. Uh, I was not the barfer. Uh, but we were... I was on a, an airplane with my my wife and my father. Uh, my wife was very pregnant <laughs> at the time. And we were we were flying back, and we we get on the plane, and she had we had some smoothies or something, and it was just it was not sitting Isn't going well. It was not sitting right. What color were the smoothies? Uh, that part I don't remember. Probably okay. probably, probably green. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> we said a different color, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and it was like you could the the energy of like you could definitely read the aura of like oh we this we got a ticking time bomb situation just please not on the plane and like if you've listened to this show for any length of time like i have i have anxiety i specifically like flight anxiety is the first thing i do in an airplane sit down crank on the ac and i make sure that the barf bag is there i've never had to use it but it's, it's like a peace of mind. Yeah, thing. it's it's a security blanket. I have to know that it's there. That's what I do with the airbag in my car. Make Jay sure it's installed <laughs> correctly every time I get in. But anyway, so we get to that time and barf time. Uh, yeah, and my my wife is scrambling, and but and my father who uh, was kind enough to give me my, his, the anxiety. Who he also has. <laughs> we just start. I mean, full backs to my wife. <laughs> Oh, like, yes! Like, we are pretending that yes. this is this is not happening. So my, my wife was like, I mean, it's like seven. Seven oh, months oh, pregnant man. is just barfing. And we're like, I, I, don't, I don't know this lady. Hand in front of the eyes, back turned. Like, I can't. Your dad, too? Oh, yeah. We could not. Where was she sitting? In the middle? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> we, we, getting shut down we from both sides. We could not handle what was happening right next to us we had to pretend that it was not going on so we well, didn't want a waterfall effect here right you, you didn't right, want right. this to spread yeah, it was for, it was, thank it's you, a Jason. domino barf it right for the best but yeah not not my proudest moment as uh, a husband and not hers either really no 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 yeah. so you have already sat next to someone I on a have, plane yes who had to use the barf bag so ignoring them is the strat yes <laughs> and you were able to succeed you were able i to, was okay yeah you he got had it. a bunch of gas right after though you gotta <laughs> plug ears la 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 it's Smelling not happening Smelling someone's fart on a plane <laughs> is the worst so, i i mean it is especially when it's, it's bad when it's not a one and done when it's when it's like every it's, five it's just, ten minutes it's coming in like the tide. Yeah, like, it's exactly. It's go, coming in. Okay, I got a reprieve. Oh, here it is again. And you always are wondering who is it? Who is it? Yes, is yes it, you are. You're looking around. Is it that dude? You're, you're always blaming the dudes. You're worried because that it's a dude. someone's gonna think it's you. Oh, for sure. If I can smell it. Well, look, I'm the only didn't fart recently. I'm the big guy. Right, like everyone is blaming me. Do you me. get typecast? Oh, I'm sure. I'm big dudes got big farts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man, I. So uh, we just flew recently. I've never farted more in a plane in my life. <laughs> I mean, ever. Was I, it? Bad? Did you smell it? Oh, I would. If I if if it had smelled, I would never. I would have shut it down. I don't do smelly farts now around other people. You're gonna blame me like I'm the one farting on the plane. You, okay, so I was okay. farting on the plane. <laughs> Yeah, it's called typecasting. I get it. You're probably right, but I won't. I will big never. Big guys, big farts. Look, I get one opportunity for a fart. You get one. Right. If it stinks, oh. you're. Okay. I don't care how yeah. bad it hurts. You're locking that up. I'm not. I'm not doing that to others. Now I know I can't fall asleep because you know what's going to happen. Oh, you worry about that? Oh, don't I you? very much worry sleep about farts. that. But I was so happy because I was. It was. It was clean. It was pure. <laughs> we were. We were fine. I farted. Every 30 seconds for three and a half hours. And I'm talking like I don't know where it was coming from. It was incredible work my body was doing. But nobody knew. Nobody knew. My, my Tons kids of root beer floats right before the flight. Yeah. So um, getting back to the question. Now, wait. Oh, real quick. Real yeah. quick. Yeah, We know Al Borland. He's got some sinus issues, right? Like he can't necessarily smell right all the time. Mm -hmm. If you become that person someday in your life. Then I won't even test it. Oh, you won't. That's what I was going to ask Because it's you. not fair ever to make you, someone else smell your I mean, stinky you farts. will never smell it at that point 
Right. Well, I, well yeah. I mean, and if I, it never smells to you, then it's like a tree I, falling no in one the forest. Will, no one will ever blame you because you will never react. Ooh. I don't think, pass the lie detector I test. Don't, yes. I don't think many people react to their own farts in public. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! See what I did? Oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Um, I, I, I think uh, I would rather be around someone who pukes and gets it. I, I would fully turn the back, Mike. I mean, now, and, and, uh, thank you. Now, not now, necessarily on my wife, but <laughs> you'd be surprised when when the when the action starts happening. My wife wouldn't blame me because she knows that I'd be so on the edge myself. But I'm going to throw this out there. You said you'd rather have it be over with. That's presuming something. You're not baking in the fact that it could happen again. It. And even if it doesn't, you always are waiting for the moment yeah. when it could. There's an anxiety, a barf anxiety. That's the second true. you see those people just move, move a little, slightly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Or maybe they, maybe they think they're done and then they take the snacks that the stewardess offers. Oh, I'd slap And then you're hand. like, no, don't you do that. Yeah, absolutely not. No peanuts for you. Take the shrimp cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, but I think I would take the barfer over the farter okay. because if it's potent gas... And I'm and I know I'm smelling someone's innards for hours. No, 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 not acceptable. Kevin from the website. Would you rather have everything in your life be hot or cold? It applies to everything. Ooh. Food, showers, weather. So you're living in a you've gone to a new planet, right? And this planet, it's all hot or it's all cold. Interesting. So there's some great cold things and some great hot things and you don't get you usually don't like to cross it. Like, do you want a real hot meal while it's hot? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, do you that's... want a cold smoothie when you're already cold? No, that's true. That's true. If you're cold, you're not looking for ice yeah, cream. Yeah, you're looking I mean, for the opposite. Andy is, but yeah. we are not looking for ice cream when we're cold. Right. You're looking it'll for a warm, hot chocolate. It'll warm me right up. Yeah. Looking for a hot chocolate. Um, There are certain things that, like weather. I, I'm going to, I'm a, uh, cold over hot. I hate being hot. I hate it, hate it, hate it. It's pretty much half of my life is just hating the heat. Mm -hmm. And Stop wearing polos. It, sure. May, may, I'll go shirtless. Thank you. Great idea. Start wearing polos. Um, Have you ever considered like the, sh life. the shirtless overalls? <laughs> oh, I have not. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> and only them? <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe I'll try that tomorrow. Maybe I'll come in tomorrow with some shirtless overalls and, I guess and see maybe how it the, works. The denim might be hot. Someone's got to make like a nice, like uh That'd be a nip warning. A, a nice cloth, like a seersucker overalls. Like some corduroy overalls. Ah, that would be hot too. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll just do like... Linen. The, you need the, a linen. Maybe the re the wrestling Cotton outfit breeze. is basically that. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> overall shape, right? A little yeah, tight. Yes, it is. <laughs> What were we talking about? I don't oh, the know. hot or cold. Yeah. It, we, I know you don't like being hot, right? I hate it. But it's you're not cold to the point of uncomfortable very often either here in Arizona. So when you've been cold to the point of discomfort, right, is that discomfort greater or worse than the heat? It is way better than the discomfort of heat because when I am freezing, uncomfortable, like I, I, I have been too cold before and – didn't like it one you can 1996 <laughs> you can you can you know bundle up a little bit that's that's fine i'm not going to do that but you could mm -hmm. but i here's the big problem because you might get too hot it's though. all about sweating for me i don't mm. when i'm cold i am uncomfortable and that's it when i am hot i am uncomfortable and i'm and sweating you're wet. you're wet and so that 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 that's the deal breaker for me so i think i would go cold i'd have to give up my steaks, give up my warm showers, which love me a warm shower. Your shower time would reduce. That is true. But I don't mind. I genuinely don't mind. Would you take a 30, 45 minute cold shower? No, oh, I gosh. wouldn't. But I, I don't mind cold showers. I've, I think we've brought this up in the past. I, I can do a cold shower. But I thought that was when you were hot. Oh, definitely when I'm hot. But even, even neutral, you know, wake up in the morning, I can take There's a cold There's no shower. neutral. It's cold. That's okay. So I'm, I'm you're already waking cold. up cold, and then you take cold. I'm shower. taking yeah. hot everything. <sighs> I mean, if you, I feel like if you have to be one or the other, it is probably hot. Yeah, that's my final answer. Goodness gracious, because of the water. <laughs> <laughs> well, like if it's hot, well, if, if it's hot, I mean, you're drinking hot water. <sighs> that's not refreshing. No, it is definitely I, not. I'll, I'll take cold because I hate hot. I, I refuse to be on team hot. 
That would be like going against who I am. Yeah, you're also, definitely not hot. We live in Arizona, which is which is already going against who I am. Okay. All right. Um, time for another one. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, Phil from Patreon. Would you rather have to climb through the window every time you go in and out of your house, <laughs> or climb through the window every time you go in and out of your car? Oh man. This is easy. Is it? Oh, it's so easy. One of these I can do. I was going to say, he's not picking car, Mike. <laughs> That's the answer. I mean, I, mean, if- I want to watch it. I really do. Here's uh, the thing. I can easily climb in through a car window head first. Yeah. But then you got a problem when you're inside. You're inside your car head first. You got to do a full somersault I gonna, inside. I was going to ask you, if you're going in head first, are you going, would you prefer... To go in passenger side, Ooh, genius, and get across that way, but you got to cross your uh, mid uh, midline. Yeah, I think you, mid- <laughs> as they call it in the car. <laughs> or do you do? You go- it's my car's equator. Yeah. <laughs> I have surpassed it. You mean your you mean your center console? No, no, no. That's no, my no. midline. <laughs> Please. I couldn't oh, think of the word console at all, so I went with midline. <laughs> yes, I would, I would cross the car's midline. I do think, because if I go in so head stupid. first, if I go in head first, I think a somersault is the best way out versus some kind of There's 180. No you're, you're not pulling off a somersault <laughs> in the car. Somersault. No. Well, not in a car, it yeah, would be I, much I more difficult. I know you could somersault, but in a car, there's just there's the room is not there. I think I could do it. No I, way. I really do. I really Today? do. Today? I think we'll find out. Yeah, I so, so the house, though. Windows are larger. <laughs> right. Yeah, but they, they could be higher up. They're There's higher climbing. Up. And if you if you see someone jump in the in uh, through a car window, you go, oh, that person's door doesn't work. True. You see someone jump in through a window of a house, that person is burglaring that house. <laughs> But I have, I mean, it's my neighbors who see me. They, they, they don't think I'm burglaring my own house. They just go, I that dude's an idiot. I don't even, I don't, I, I can recognize like one or two of my neighbors. Not everyone knows their neighbors. Well, that's a you problem, Mike. I, or or could, a you solution, could, depending on you. I was about to yeah. say, this was strategic and he's accomplished his yeah, goals. Yeah, I've, I've done tremendous work in my neighborhood by not knowing anyone. But not everyone's going to know who you are. You will, if you ha- always have to go in through the window of your house, in your lifetime, you will have the police called on you at least once. Either even by a passerby. Yes, like it, that will happen. So there, there you could you large... could systematize the window thing. Maybe it's more elegant. Like out in public, there's more embarrassment I think to be had with the car. Yes, because yeah, you're just sure. seeing more random people. At least someone in your neighborhood can get used to you going in and out. The, you can. It's my house. You know, you can you can eventually let everybody know what's going on. And imagine seeing a larger man in a wrestling singlet. Right. Climbing mm-hmm. in a house window. You're not calling the police on that one? I am. <clears throat> no, I would call the Even police. Even if I knew that. you. I, yeah, I would call the police on myself. I'd say, I'm breaking into my house. Uh, come find me. If, wrestle me if you can. <laughs> the, the problem with the car as well is, you know, you don't ever... You know, you're rushing a lot of times. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get out the door. Sure. My kids, I got to go to school. We're running up against the clock. It's like, get, get. you know, I'm like running out the door. <laughs> I don't want to have to like do a speed crawl through the window. I got to take my time on that. If I have to. And what if there's a passenger in the car already? Well, that they t- need to get out beyond the midline or. Before? Yeah, no, beyond <laughs> the midline. They're on the they're in the passenger. Oh, seat. can you go feet? Could you do the feet first? If you gave it a real <laughs> no, what if you hooked up a uh, one of those cargo bars on the top of your car and you used that to yes. jump up and go? Yeah, first? you'd have to do sure, that. You I, I just realized, fellas, July trying to climb in the window of a car in Arizona. Oh, you're gonna burn yourself. You are. I mean, you have to touch at least something metal at some point, mm. and that part of your body is now fried. You don't do ju- like a running dive, <laughs> <laughs> running dive through the window. Yeah, it's an option. A tiger roll. Yeah. Just jumping in. Yeah, I will be climbing in and getting the police call. You probably have to do that. All right. Uh, Nikki from YouTube, would you rather be able to see perfect within a three-foot radius and everything beyond is blurry, or would you rather have everything bu- blurry within three feet and okay. see perfectly beyond? So this is nearsighted, farsighted, right. but no correction. Yeah, but into the extreme. Yeah, so you are... You're not reading a book. You will never read a book. 
Well, you will if you can do it from like, you know, four feet away. I read all my books via audio, though. So this is, <laughs> this is what, okay. Have we talked about that on this show of like, what do you actually call that? If I, we have, whatever. Oh, whether we're, you we're call, bringing it up again. Okay, go for I, it. So the way Are you I, reading? The yes. way that I view it is you're not reading, but you have read. If it's past tense and you could say like, oh, I've read that book. If it's a book that Don't you was feel a little you, bit shameful when, when yes. inside, not outside? You don't tell them. But you're like, I have read that. Yeah. I don't feel you shameful didn't. saying that. I feel shameful getting called out on it. Oh, I say, I feel, oh, I've read that. And they're like, I oh. Feel I feel a little feel shameful it. inside like I took a shortcut. Like it was like not the real. I read the cliff notes is how I feel. Is there a better way? Like, oh, I've I've consumed that book. Ugh, not that. <laughs> I think the reality is you just say, oh, I listened to that book. Oh, right? yeah, but then That sounds like but such sounds a loser. Yeah. yeah. Which is, it's not really a problem because when we listen, we're driving. And I hope you're not reading while you're driving. Okay. That's my preference for the drivers out there. I always tell people, I said, yeah, I've audio read that <laughs> book. Mm. You audio read it? Yeah. I've audio read that book. I like it. You just yeah, drop you just out the audio. the audio. Read that book. Okay. Yeah. So it's, what's the official spitballer's stance? You do say... I think you have to say that I've always, I've always in my time, I've never made the point of clarifying to somebody else that I didn't physically read it. Right, but if you are currently in the middle of the book and that's what you're listening to right I'm now, reading? you're listening to it. Yeah, so I'm listening okay. to that right now. You can't. You haven't. Agreed. You haven't crossed the finish line of the book to be able to say I've read that. But if you've listened to it in its entirety, then you've you read can say it? I've read it. All right, back to okay. the okay. Ba back to your blurry life here. I don't. My initial reaction. I don't know what your guys' this was. Was that I have to take the one where I can't see within three feet? You have to. But How, you can't drive. You can't. But if it's pure blurry within three feet, I mean, you're not on your laptop. You're not on your computer. You're not. A, you're not <laughs> how do you? You're gonna have to hook you up your computer. You might not to be able to. I guess. I mean, you're basically blind within three feet. I think that's almost a better way to think about this yeah. question: is blind within three feet or blind beyond three feet? And you know, you can drive if you have the one where you can see beyond three feet. S sort of. Yeah, sort of. I mean, uh, you could drive. You're not. You're, you can drive, but you can't change the radio station. <laughs> right. If can't, it can't if, check your mirrors either. Yeah. If it's within three feet. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna get some of those extenders. Like how long is uh, <laughs> four foot mirror away from you? Yeah, <laughs> like the ones on the big rigs. <laughs> like the front of a car is more than three feet away. Right. So you, that means you cannot see past the the hood of your car. No, no. Oh, we're I'm saying, doing. Yeah. I'm saying we do the one where you can see farther. Right. Because then you can still drive. Yes, if you can see past okay. three feet, okay, then you okay, can drive. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You just can't, you know, see the person in your vehicle. But or the bugs on your windshield? I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel like you, you can, you know, either way, you're gonna find workarounds for life. But like Mike said, like laptop, computer, you can hook it up to a screen that is, you know, a, a I said projector. Hook it up to a TV. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm just saying there, there are ways around that. You, you can't read. You can listen to a book. I can't think of ways around if you can't see distance past three feet. I don't know how to overcome that so, in any way. So at what amount of feet do you flip? Not three feet. Is it five feet? Is it 10 feet? Like if everything's 10 feet blur, everything within 10 feet is blurry. Yeah, I think that's You can't have conversations with people like face to face. Oh, could you just back up a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I need to speak to you for a moment. Yeah, I, th I think 10 feet is the line because right. either way, then you're not driving. Okay. All right. All right, let's move on. Spitwads, with how much we rely on our devices, it's easy to forget about the hardware that you are born with. We're talking about those ears. You know how you're listening to this podcast right now? Using your ears. And your ears are same as a fingerprint. No two are exactly alike. That's why, you know, earbuds, sometimes they can be not comfortable. They can fall out. I have massive problems, or I should say had massive problems with my earbuds. I thought you were going to say you have massive ears. But I, I mean have those as well. Look, they, they had to get a wide mold, but <laughs> my, our friends over at Ultimate Ears Fits, they took care of it. Ultimate Ears Fits, true wireless. These are custom fit earbuds from Ultimate Ears, and they are changing the game. Uh, you just, they, you know, they send your earbuds. You, it's amazing. You it, pop it's, them. It's amazing. You pop them in your ears. You connect them to an app. You, they kind of like glow a little bit. Feels a little warming they get sensation. A little warm. 
And then Shazam, you have an earbud that stays in your ear. It doesn't fall out. It sounds fantastic. We're talking a guaranteed perfect fit in 60 seconds. And if you try fits and you don't love them as much as I do, don't worry. 30-day money-back guarantee, but you're going to love them. Use the promo code BALLERS at UE.com slash FITS to get your pair of UE FITS. That's UE.com slash FITS, promo code BALLERS. That's a great question. All right, let's go to Karen from Twitter. If a vampire bites a zombie... Does the zombie become a vampire or does the vampire become a zombie? Ooh. Well, it's okay. the it, the vampire cannot become a zombie. Well, here's Wouldn't the, the zombie have to bite the vampire for that to happen? Exactly. But here's we got to break I it mean, down. I mean, Mike though. Mike knows more about this domain. Well, that, that's what I'm thinking about of like the reason you turn into the zombie when the zombie bites you is because you get the infection. The virus. The virus has passed through the saliva or whatever, and we've seen in some zombie canon, like if you get the zombie blood in your mouth or in, okay. in your eyes, a good you point. change as well. So if a vampire bites a zombie, the zombie will turn into a vampire. That's the rules. But the vampire will also turn into a zombie because the vampire will have ingested... But the virus. Can I ask you some questions as an yes. authority? I know you're an authority on this. Yes. Um, does something have to be alive to receive the, the vampire treatment? That's a good question. Is because a, it's not a, a living organism anymore. Is a vampire... And are you getting blood out of a zombie? I mean, is this even yes. worth it for the vampire? Yeah, it's, it's coagulated. Okay. But there's the blood is still in there. Is it still and, good? Does it taste nice? Uh, it's probably bad. Like expired, it's like bad blood. It's like expired milk. Okay. Uh, but the question for the vampire is, is a vampire alive or dead because a vampire is also immortal? Well, both vampires and zombies are considered undead. Vampires are undead. I'm, I'm not yeah. a vampire person, so yeah. I need some help here. Both vampires and zombies are the undead. Okay. So, But, there are, but, is, but a vampire is immortal. Uh, An immortal undead. It, it really what is dead can never I think die. It depends on the can. <laughs> but you can kill a vampire by yes. piercing its heart. You can also which kill is a pumping, right? But a zombie is his heart pumping. No. See, I no mean, internal it... organs have shut off. So, in terms of distributing so then... the poison from the vampire, <laughs> it's not really pumping it through the body. Yeah, that's a good. Are point. Are zombies I don't... resistant to vampires? I think zombies are resistant to vampires. I see what you're saying yeah, because it's coagulated. It's not spreading. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they can does become a, a, a. Does a vampire, vampire is a vampire a virus? No, a vampire is not a virus. Wait so, a minute. That's what, so <laughs> because, <when> they, <laughs> because they because they suck no, it's the blood it's, out of you. They drain the blood. They drain the blood. But clearly, they're putting something in if they're converting you. I think that is this, it a uh, is this like a uh, is it a poison when, when you get your kidneys washed? <laughs> What? I could, like I, a dialysis? Dialysis. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> you get your kidneys washed. <laughs> they take them out. They give them a rub down, put them back in. Ironically, I got to where, where, yeah, where you were yeah, thinking. Yeah. Incredible. I think that a, a vampire draining you of the blood is what allows you to... Uh, is How what, do you become a vampire? You get, you get you your get blood bit, drained then, yeah. by the vampire, but I don't yeah, think but that that's can an happen. Outward, that's an outward process. It, What's going in? Well, so it has to go in to convert you. So do vampires not have blood? <clears throat> vampires have blood. Yeah, they do. They have extra blood. Yeah. But but <laughs> to turn into a vampire, I have had my blood taken away from me. Yes, but just and now you're going to go drink more. Just, just a little bit of it. <laughs> but so, okay, a baby vampire. No, like a brand no new blood. vampire, they have no blood? Clearly no blood. And that's why they need to go bite more people. Because they, they need blood. Because they're hungry. <laughs> that's right. Babies don't have an, enough blood. Okay. But I don't think you can actually suck blood out of a zombie because the heart's not pumping. I think you could try, but it's not. You're going to get a little bit. You're going to get whatever was in the neck, and that's not enough. No, and it's gross. You it's can. like sour, sour blood. I mean, it just depends on the, the suction power. Yeah, mm. I don't think you're going to suck blood from the toes <laughs> through the neck. That's so just... wait, does the zombie become a vampire? We think no. Does the vampire become a zombie? Yes. I think no. No, I th I think it's neutral. I, I think nothing happens yeah, because I think this is an exercise. They should just walk away because a vampire because the zombie's already dead. Yeah, and the zombie didn't bite them. So no, I say, I'm 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 fine with the virus still goes, but you're saying that a virus can't affect a vampire because it's already an undead, right? So these two should just 
be friends. Right. Yes. Yeah, they settled. They really should team up. Hold hands. Except zombies aren't intelligent, so <sighs> well, they some, can't. Some, yeah, no, none of them I'll are. get those ones. None of them get those out of Eduardo my face. Eduardo from the website, what is the age threshold for someone to be considered to have died of old age? 80. Which oh, is... 80? It's a great... You had an immediate well, answer? No, I mean, look, you said 80, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if I tell you... What, what do you... Let me, let me rephrase this. Do you take issue when you hear that, um, you know, my, my uncle died at 79 of old age? Well, yeah, because 80 is the threshold, 80. right? So, so then do you not believe me? Um, I no, Do you say, what was it really? <laughs> is that what you say? <laughs> right, exactly, because I don't think... Tell the truth. Look, I, don't, I, I know you're grieving right now, but right. don't be a liar. What was it really? Tell the truth. Yeah. You're, I'm just, your gramps lied to you. That's, that's all I'm trying See, to I, tell you here. I think what happens is nobody dies of old age. Okay. Correct. Th there is an right. age when people accept all the ailments as normal. <laughs> and that <laughs> age just, yeah, is what? when they're all thrown into a lump of old age. It's like you get cancer at 96, old age. Right. You have heart failure at 98, old age. Because you're supposed to have those things at that age. So basically, if after 80 you die of anything that's not an accident, yes, you have died of old age. Yes. I think that's actually true. Although, would you say, I mean... Bear grandpa, attack. Old age. Well, no, bear, oh, that's an accident. That's an accident. But if you what? have a heart attack at 81... That's not an accident for the bear. Listen, if you had a heart attack at 81, do you want people telling, telling their friends... He died of old age or he died of a heart attack? What do you want them to say about you? Of old age, for sure. Really? You prefer that? Yeah, because old age implies peacefully. It, it, yeah. See, to me, it, it implies, implies you gave sleep. up. Oh. Really? Dying of Whereas, old age? Whereas like a heart attack's like, that got him. Oh, see, I was saying heart attack, weak heart. Yeah. What really? A, yeah, I oh, think absolutely. you ate well. <laughs> no, heart. <laughs> you ate poorly, <laughs> um, depending on perspective. But yeah. no, I, I do. I think that if you die of old age, that means that you died in your sleep. Ooh, yes. which is the preferred. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna be I'm, trying to die in my sleep, by the way, so when just, I'm at a certain age. Naps all the time, just nonstop Nyquil. And I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm the kind of overthinker who I will be every time I lay down for a nap of over the age of eighty. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna be <laughs> wanting to know. I'm gonna ask one question: Is this where I want to be found? <laughs> So, mm. so every nap you just like lay out your wheel right next to you. Yes, and I make sure I'm wearing something that is presentable. Oh, yeah, you're you're not going not a, a mode at eighty. No, I, I'm not going to be found in no like. Oh come on, pair of overalls only at eighty. I mean, that's like the final troll. Yeah, I was gonna say I, when I'm eighty, I'm. I might is, be only sleeping all the mode. Someone's uh, going to find me. They're going to find me like this. Is your son, somebody out there wondering how we use all the mode in this way? <laughs> your son. Has with to find ice cream, that's to find you gone was tragic, and then but you hit him with one last good joke. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think at that age it's probably a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean it's good for me. So, Mike, right. do you agree with the eighty threshold, or do you think someone can die of old age I above seventy five? I th I, th I think eighty is probably there. Yeah, I th and, that does make sense to me. And I'm on board with it. It has to be in your sleep. Do but, it, but it could be. Will it, it change over time? Like, is there? Do we hope? Yes. Do yes. we hope that it's eighty-five by the time we die? No, 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 no. We hope that it's one hundred. We hope that that age is pushed way back by the time we get there. They better improve some things because I feel like once you hit a hundred, you're just you're just waiting. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're just already dead. You're Take like a vampire. It. Well, and the <laughs> you're way, an undead. The way that we eat, we're not making it to a hundred. We got to change. We got to we got to change some things about ourselves. Am I, is it just me or are these vampire movies nobody's ever eaten the elderly? Like is that bad blood? Well, because I, you don't have a bunch of elderly vampires. I think because well you do you have some, but you do. When you're a vampire, hit the nursing home. It's easy prey. But you're when you're a vampire, you're creating a lineage. Are you? Yes, because now oh, so you don't want the old. Now everyone you have converted, they are under your Family tree. Like a coaching tree in the NFL? Yes. Yeah, the, exactly. The 80-year-old vampire is such an embarrassment. That's an, yeah, it's an embarrassment. He can't too. even catch up to anyone. And they're, to but they're immortal at that age. <laughs> yeah, which, is a, which is a nightmare. I oh, mean, that's no. A real, that's why, why did you do this? They're My not, hips. <laughs> they're not doing that to the elderly out of respect. Oh. They're like, I don't want you to have to live through this forever. So those elderly above 80 that got vampired, they're seeking zombies to hopefully eat yes. them, to hopefully eat them and make them 
Yeah, or just for best friends. They and don't also have many. just juggling wood stakes. So wait, if a vampire's, J-I-C. <laughs> if a vampire is immortal, yes. which is what you're saying, yes, that doesn't mean that they can't be eaten by a zombie entirely, like all of them. Correct. Can they you, can be consumed? Now, <laughs> oh man, now you got me deep diving. So if, can a vampire? Because the wooden stake, yeah, can, is how you kill. Sayonara. A but can you like cut a vampire's arm off? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and it doesn't grow back? No. Uh, I don't think it does. No. But a cut heals faster? I don't know. And we oh, know the man. sunlight. I've, I've the sunlight's s- not very... And the sunlight turns them into ash or into right. stone. Oh, so many vampires. Garlic. Questions. Garlic is Garl- a problem. Garlic's There's- more like allergies for them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it what? gives them the sneezies. I wonder if they have like a Zyrtec for garlic. <laughs> oh, Just like-, like a Claritin for vampires? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, these are all very important questions. Uh, okay. I think we settled on that. One more of these, and then we'll get into the draft. Uh, Sam the Ma'am from Patreon says, "Where does the thought go when it's forgotten?" Oh goodness gracious! Where this is above my pay grade? Where does a thought go when it is forgotten? Whoa! It can a thought truly be forgotten? Oh yeah, it can. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, because it's there somewhere, right? But if is you've it? had a thought that you never, ever think of again, it has officially been forgotten. Now, does that mean it can't be officially forgotten until you pass? Because you could think of it again, and if you ever think of it again, then it was never That's, forgotten. No, but, but, but isn't it a fresh thought? Well, not if you remember that I had this thought earlier. But isn't that deja vu? <laughs> yeah, but that's me. That's what I'm saying. Can a thought really ever go I'm away. thinking of my brain in this sense that like there's one th- active thought that can be happening at active, one moment sure but uh, and then if it's out of the active uh, part of the brain is it a forgotten thought or was it just all I mean aren't all thoughts always there then even yes. once even once that you haven't forgotten aren't they all there before you think of them I think the reality here is some of these that's a good question some of these <laughs> thoughts <laughs> deep some of these thoughts are never recorded. You, it's not that they are forgotten. Once recorded, they can't be forgotten. But you can have a thought, and then it's not important enough to ever put in your uh, in your you know your long term storage. Yeah, but it's I mean, but if you think it, you thought it. <laughs> if well said, <laughs> well said. I don't know if we can get to the bottom of this one. It's a very yeah. No, this is. Like you said, this is above our pay grade. But who, if if not us, then who? That's a that's I mean, also an, that's another great question. Educated right. people. I, I, oh, sorry, not a real answer. So where thoughts go when they are forgotten? Is there a place in your brain? Or it's like where uh, like where <laughs> where Bing Bong lives exactly. in the Inside Out. Exactly. There's well, just there's a dump. You've had the times when you're like, oh, I just had a thought, and then you do recall it. Yeah. So where was it? Is is where Bing Bong was <laughs> in the movie. That's yeah. thank you. Which is a very sad place. <laughs> That's yeah, from in, Inside Out. Yes. Yeah, you don't want your thoughts. So there. we we did we answered it and we got there through a Pixar movie. Yeah, they they handled where it. Bing Bong lives <laughs> was an actual. They finally figured it out. Mm-hmm. That's a sad. That was sad. Oh yeah, let's not talk about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that movie theme's gonna make it. All right, oh, let's it's really good though. Let's get into the draft. Spent once finding that perfect Mother's Day gift, it can be a little bit tricky. And look, you've maybe you've heard a read saying, we found the perfect gift for you. Well, I'm telling you, the malarkey, because this is the gift that your mom wants. We're talking about skylight frames. It is a digital picture frame. And it's sure, maybe you've seen one of those before, but not like skylight frames. The display is beautiful. It's a gorgeous 10-inch touchscreen. And here is the best part. You can set this bad dog up in about 60 seconds, and we're talking maybe your mom's not super tech savvy. That does not matter. She will not have a problem setting up her skylight frame, and you can send photos to this through email. Not only is the app real easy to use for your mom, but you can send pictures to them. You got all these photos on your phone. They're they're doing no one any good on there. Your mom wants to see pictures of the kids, see how cute they're looking, see the fit of the day. Boom. Just a couple seconds, you can send 
Ma, a brand new picture to the skylight frame. And like I said, the display is fantastic. As a special holiday offer, you can get $10 off your purchase of a skylight frame when you go to skylightframe.com, enter the code BALLERS. That's right, to get $10 off your purchase of a skylight frame, just go to skylightframe.com, enter the code BALLERS. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E.com, code BALLERS. The Spitballers Draft. All right, we are drafting the best movie themes. This is part one of two drafts because there are too many incredible movie themes. Now, I want to be honest with the, with the spitwads out there. I really wanted to be able to put all of these movie themes into today's show, as in actually play them for you. Sure. But we've sought legal counsel. <sighs> the man. And the man says that that could be a questionable decision. <laughs> So we're going to be drafting them, and if possible, we might hum them. But in unison if, and in harmony. Correct. But if we don't know how to do that, we may not. Uh, and you may have to look them up. Jason, you taking the alto? Oh, yeah, uh, sure, I can do that. I mean, I'm more of a baritone. But... <laughs> All right, I'll jump on the soprano. Great. <laughs> you know I can't. You know I can't pull off alto. Um. All right, so Mike, you have the very first pick, which I am delighted to have it, uh, okay? Because I think that there is a clear one hundred and one. Really, I do. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, we we know if you're listening to this and you know about movie themes, you realize that we will be drafting John Williams music nonstop, <laughs> uh, and because he's just he just cranks out certified bangers all the time, uh, but. One soundtrack. There, I mean, I what do I get all the songs or whatever? Whatever. It's really the main. It's you're supposed to think of the main theme of the okay. movie, and then if you want stuff coming with it, whatever. Okay, uh, I'm going with Star Wars. Okay, okay. that uh, is. I get it. I get it. That's what I wondered w if that would be yes. the 101. Yeah, I mean, from the the opening <laughs> sequence <laughs> when they hit you with the, just the, the dun, song. Dun, yeah, dun, this, dun, 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 dun. this the stinger that goes. So that comes along, and then I'm also just sneaking in. Uh, Oh, <laughs> oh, you're just grabbing <laughs> some more movies? <laughs> That's Star Wars, baby. <laughs> All right. Which, oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah, you're welcome. See, we couldn't play it, but we got you. We got you Wait, that one. wasn't the recording? No, it was. <laughs> but for the lawyers, I have to say it wasn't. <laughs> All the lawyers. Um, yeah, star okay, baby. so I when you built it up like that, I thought there was like maybe a dark horse that you were going with. Oh, but, nope. Nope. But Star Chalk. Wars. Chalk, that's fine. No, that's where you should. I mean, yes. Star Wars is um, it's known everywhere. A lot yeah. of this is about iconic. A lot of this is about does it come up in everyday life mm -hmm. as a way to almost add a soundtrack to a moment because it's so iconic. Right. A hundred percent. And that song that you just did yeah. from Star Wars, oh. we do that constantly during foosball matches. Because <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. it makes everything epic. So I, I'm trying to pick one that I can recall easily because that means it you, that you, means it is iconic it's a memory that has not been forgotten and to unfortunately. me unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately i have forgotten all music <laughs> on your first pick no 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 okay da, 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 oh da, da. you're going back to the future i'm going back to the future because i know there's no chance oh, Andy would let it get back to me and it is probably the one that i can recall the most i mean it's just so classic it's Clear. Yes. I mean, Andy, right behind you is a hoverboard <laughs> and, a, and a dock. Andy is very upset yeah, with he you. He loves Back to the Future, but we all do. Yes. It's great. It's, it is a great theme song. I, I, I just slotted that into Andy's first pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I did I. I would never let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, that shocks me. That's, that's where you went. Well, that, was, that was fully intentional so that you didn't get oh, it. Oh, 100%. All right, well, fine, fine. I'll fight fire with fire here. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, you bet. No, you're not going to do that of to me. Of course I will. Oh, no, come on, of man. Of course I will. You don't, you don't get it. Aw, uh, don't do it. But I'll make it my second pick yeah. out of, to try to disrespect Oh, to disrespect Yes. Uh, I will go with... Oh, there's so many. There's so <laughs> many. I will go with... Um, Okay. Oh, you're going with the long <laughs> intro. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going Jurassic Park. It's not the main motif. I'm going Jurassic Park uh, for my first pick. I, I, it might not be everybody's. Oh, it's, but it's, it's just infinite. It's, it's, it's my favorite theme of a movie ever. It's a fantastic theme, and like 
the yes like the reprieval when like after all i mean it's it's already been played in the in the the movie but like after all the insane dinosaur a uh, dinosaur <laughs> uh trademarked you no one can own that uh dinosaur like it's happening the t-rex is eating everybody and it's night and it's raining and then everything is cleared and the sun is out and then that like majestic melody is playing i mean it's just it's perfection it's, it is and so then yeah braveheart <laughs> I'm taking Braveheart. Yeah. You could have just played nice and left me with Back to the oh, Future. That's not fair. But I'm taking Braveheart because, come on, that music is unbelievable. So as we were going in the office, we're all trying to gather up our lists and our picks. And it, it really was a, a tale of like, oh, that one too. And you're adding them on. And Jason was re somehow reminded of Braveheart. He wasn't immediately on his list. And he like pulls it up. And I can see this man on the verge of just a complete breakdown. Just crying because immediately. It's, because it's such an emotional song. It's fantastic. I hear that music and I am... I'm Freedom! In, I'm in Scotland. <laughs> and I am... My heart is breaking for you, William. Yeah. Well, uh, it's breaking for yourself can, now. Well, can you... Can Look, you the good news is he doesn't care anymore. Can we recall it? Can we recall Braveheart? <laughs> That's, that's too much. That was too much. Um, dang, that's good. All right. Yeah. Um, so I'm out. I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta play. I gotta oh, play the game here. Yeah, because Mike's coming with two picks here, and he's he's the music man. Yeah, he is. Um, man. Uh, there's there's a classic, like one of the best of all times, and then there's one that is just. It's so good, and it's so old, and it's something that you don't think about until you hear it, and then you're like, oh, man, Interesting. that's unbelievable. And I know it's on your list because you told me it was on your list. Ah. Oh, how did you know? <laughs> so, so I think I'm going to take it, but I, f now with all this other music, I, I can't recall. I'll, I'll find it. All right. Uh, maybe. I'm taking the OG Superman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 Oh, the you said you're a baritone. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. Yeah, I went up. I'm I was going soprano. I was trying yeah. to give you some trumpets, and you're like, oh, yeah, me too. Man. Oh man, that I mean that that music. was my backup pick in case you had taken what I was going to take. But okay. the, the, yeah, the Superman, the the original Superman, the, yes. and, the, and the new one, which whatever, if you want to take that, I think the new one is Zimmer. Uh, the new one is great too, but the the old classic John Williams, that is superhero music. I couldn't believe that that was John Williams. Like yeah. I did, I would never have guessed that John Williams did he Superman. He has been alive for a long time. <laughs> yeah, we we need to get that man immortal. Yes, can we get yes. a vampire? Yes. Let's clone him. Get him a son <laughs> immediately. Raise him up before he dies, so he can teach him some music. All right, fantastic. Uh, two picks for Mike. Well, my 102 has returned to me, uh, and not surprised. What What's interesting about this movie series is, uh, in my heart, I always believe it's one of my favorites of all time. And then you go back, and you're like, "Well, two of them are actually not that great." Uh, I know, oh, yeah, 100 yeah. percent, 100 percent. And there's been a fourth, and we pretend that that one doesn't exist. Oh, there's it does three. Yeah, but the, I mean, but the, the last, music is unbelievable. But the music is so good. That you think you that all the movies are fantastic and the, the iconic, so I will be taking Indiana Jones, mm -hmm. uh, which is so uh, my one hundred two has returned to me. I got to make sure I'm marking what has been taken. All right, so Star Wars, Indiana Jones, we're off Golly, to a powerhouse. Talk we're off too. to a very good start. Now, can we recall Indiana Jones here? <laughs> Oh yeah, John. Da -da. I, yes, I love yeah. you, Mikey. And, and like the way that Superman is—that's a—that's a superhero song. Indiana Jones—that is adventure. Uh -huh. Like you, you, da -na 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 -na. yeah, you fire that up, da -na 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 and and you are immediately like, oh, I'm I'm out there. I'm looking for. Uh, a yeah, dig you're, site. you're an archaeologist. I mean, it, yes. Which I'm afraid of snakes. Which apparently is not nearly as fun as Indiana Jones' life. Oh, that's what I actually wanted to be growing up. I wanted to be Indiana Jones. And then you find out being an archaeologist is boring, <laughs> dusty. <laughs> Where's the booby traps? All right. Oh, man. 
uh, this is where a little bit of where the game comes in for me because I have a lot that I uh, – and th this one will never make it back. So I uh, I will take the Harry Potter. No! <laughs> Come on. You guys are jerks. Taking Harry Potter. Wow. Harry Potter and Braveheart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that is magic music, ladies and gentlemen. That is. It is. Uh, You've got to be the starter on all of these humming for us. It's like when you hit that real dissonant note. And there's just like, because it's a regular melody until that point, and you're like, oh, there's something not quite yeah. right in yeah. this Harry Potter life. Oh, man. That, that was that was my next pick. Oh, I know it was. And Braveheart was my <laughs> previous pick. I, uh, <laughs> man. I, look, let me just say this. This one isn't about me versus you guys. Love your guys' picks. We're just respecting the music. We're right just now. respecting the music. That's we what did we're leave you do. with the Free Willy theme. Oh, well, in that case... <laughs> I might use my fourth pick on that, but I'm going to go with one of the best of all time. This was actually, even though Harry Potter, I was going to take that sure. next. My last time I was on the clock, I, was I wasn't thinking of Harry Potter yet, which I love more, but the music for Forrest Gump okay. is okay. as classic and made it. The, with the piano theme? Yeah. Let's the, uh, <laughs> oh, yes. As I'm doing the trumpet sound. <laughs> well, do, can you make a piano sound easily uh no that's yeah. <laughs> so, so i'm keep very good at trumpets away. all right so you are uh you take a force gun i could give you wah guitar <laughs> oh let's have it <laughs> <laughs> thank you you <laughs> said uh, we get two shows of this yeah. it's amazing all right i have to take my final two picks uh, um, you don't have to i'm gonna go with jaws Okay. I'm taking Jaws. Okay. Jaws, I was so torn it's on what to do. It's a different type of song. <laughs> okay, yes, going. I yeah. had you. Oh, uh, sorry. I had your so, back. So everybody knows Jaws. Yes, that's I I didn't and have it on my list. Because it's it's so tough because it it's an iconic that that song is horror. You know something really terrible is going to happen. But it's like it's like two notes. <laughs> well, well it, but it does go into yeah, yeah. a much it, bigger. It definitely production. does. But it, it's on my list. I just, I wasn't sure where it should fit into this draft. <sighs> All right. Uh, well, but apparently, Andy's third pick is the answer. Yeah, that's where he's gonna go. And um, this one's really tough because there's there's I have the knowledge that there's another draft coming. Yes. And I think that I can take this other my real true number four in the other draft. Ooh. That's that's some ultimate risk. So, <laughs> I think I think I'm going to go James Bond. Oh, wow. I think I'm going to go James Bond for my final pick because not only is it just like an iconic wow wow wow. But I don't the walking towards back. Uh, no, <laughs> give me the trumpets, please. <laughs> Thank you. Much better. I think James Bond, I mean, it spans multiple movies, but they always, they kind of iterate on it and they build it well, out. Each and, movie has their own, like, song, but the, the James Bond song. The, the theme. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, and, it's got and, a couple and, different and, motifs. It, it, it's fantastic. spreads to video games. <laughs> it so, does. Um, so that's, that's where I'll end uh, our first draft. Okay. That's good. Uh, that's good. You got a fighter. I'm going to take a fighter as well. Are you? Yeah. Dun, 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 bum, bum, bum. Oh, you're going to go Rocky. Right now. Okay. I'm going okay. with the Rocky theme music. I mean, you you got a movie that was like, you know, came out of nowhere. Oh, oh no. Yeah. That one actually has lyrics to it. Yeah. The, I've got a couple on my list here that are like more song. Like, just yeah, like, yeah, it happens. It, it might have been on the radio even. Right. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll take the Rocky theme song for the win. <clears throat> Oh. Not for the win, because Mike's yeah. team is unbeatable. Oh, my gosh. Okay. How do we... But for second, maybe. Doubtful. <laughs> Braveheart says what? <laughs> you you let that get away from you. Yeah. You fool. All right. Uh, with my last pick here, it, this 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 theme song is interesting because the uh, there are... Well, now I guess now there's multiple movies, but... Uh, the original came out in the 80s, so it's like, it's really 80s doubt. And then uh, this was one of those movies where the sequel actually surpassed the original by oh my a gosh. wide margin. Tell me you're taking it. Oh, and, and then you just you fire this one up with the drums. Oh, goodness. <gasps> yes. Oh, 
Terminator 2. Yeah. And not many theme songs can you that song's so fully good. recall when you just hear the rhythm. Uh-huh. Uh, you just oh, hear a percussion rhythm. That so good. <laughs> oh. oh, so good. Yeah. Dang, that song is a sneaky fourth <laughs> pick. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I should save that for the, the, I the know, next one around, I but uh, yeah, I'll complete it with Terminator. So Mike has a pedestrian group of four picks here. <laughs> Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Harry Potter, and Terminator. For how good Terminator is, it's, is really, that, it's not carrying its weight. <laughs> Is it's that the same? Bad. I mean, I don't remember the first movie. So is that the same theme in both? Yes. Okay. It, it is, but it's, it's not like, just Terminator 2. But like in the in T2, it's it's orchestrated. Gotcha. But the first one, because it's 80s, it is in it's, there. it's all synths Synth, out, yeah. which I mean, it's I like love. Ninja Turtles, yeah, uh, like, Secret of the Use. Well, yeah, like, like synth music. I love it, but they really took it to a new place in T2. And Jason went with Back to the Future instead of Braveheart. Mm -hmm. Superman, Forrest Gump, and Rocky. I have Jurassic Park, Braveheart, Jaws, and James Bond. And we have so many disrespected picks that will be coming you can, uh, you on can, our next show. I would say comment if you're on the YouTube. Comment on uh, what songs were missed out. Yeah. And then uh, we'll, we'll hit oh, the... Don't worry. There is a lot. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. What did we learn today? Well, this one's easy. I, I, I finally understand that it is not, in fact, a midline. It is a center console. <laughs> yeah. um, I learned that uh, no matter how important your wife is, you <laughs> turn your back on her in her pregnancy while she throws up. And I've learned that I have a lot to learn about vampires because I still don't know if we got to the bottom of that vampire I think we did question. a great job, Mike. Oh, we did a great job, but we just scratched the surface. Yeah, I mean, we're going to need a five-part... <laughs> episode start a thesis thanks for listening back next monday goodbye thanks for listening to the spitballers podcast to see what other nonsense the guys are up to check out spitballerspod.com